Good day listeners. My name is Audrey Poulton. Welcome to our last educational program in a series of five produced especially for grade 10 mathematics learners. The main aim of these educational programs is to help you to understand the difficult content of the subject better. Remember, in this series, we are discussing the classification of numbers. It is expected of you to be able to identify different types of numbers. We have only dealt with the integers so far. So today we are going to look at the fractions. You'll hear various examples during the following conversation. So do have a pen, paper and a calculator ready to make notes and work out the examples on your own. Hey Susie, I can't believe your aunt is going back tomorrow. Today will be our last lesson with her. Yes, the days went by so quick. But she'll definitely be visiting again. My knowledge about numbers has certainly increased a great deal. What about you? Definitely. Okay, Annie. I'll see you after school at my house. See ya. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite student. Hello, Aunt Mary. And you are our favorite tutor. Hello, Auntie. What are we talking about today? Do you remember our discussion about rational and irrational numbers? We said that rational numbers can be divided into two groups. Integers, which we've talked about, and the other group is the fractions. But isn't a fraction also an irrational number? Let me remind you again what an irrational number is. You can't write an irrational number as a common fraction. Irrational numbers can only be written as decimal fractions, but they are the infinite non-recurring decimals. Oh yes, now I remember. They are the unpredictable numbers, like the square root of 3. I remember you said that even though the value on the calculator stops, the number still continues with many decimals. So the irrational numbers can't be written with a numerator and denominator, but the rational numbers can. And the ones that do not simplify to a whole number are the fractions we are going to look at today. So what types of fractions are we talking about, Aunt Mary? We are talking about proper fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers and decimal fractions. But in this case, the decimal fractions will be terminating. For example, 3.142 is a terminating decimal fraction. I know you want to tell me it's the same as pi, but it really isn't. Pi is an irrational number and 3.142 is a rounded number. It has three decimal places and there it stops. I see what you mean. The value for pi continues, which means it's an infinite non-recurring decimal fraction. But the number 3.142 is a number that stops. It is exact. That's right. Remember, I also said that when you do classification of numbers, you judge the number as it is. Pi, which is normally written as a symbol, is irrational and 3.142 is rational. Let's look at some other examples. Tell me what other number we sometimes use as pi. Isn't that 22 over 7? Yes, that's right. Sometimes when you have to calculate the circumference of a circle, it will state in the question that you should use pi as 22 over 7. But I just said that you should judge the number as it is. So do you think 22 over 7 is a rational or an irrational number? If we have to judge the number as it is, it looks like an improper fraction to me. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I would say 22 over 7 is a rational number. And that's completely correct. When you classify numbers, try not to overcomplicate things. 
just look at what you have now this is starting to make sense it's actually quite easy yes it is let's look at some more examples write down the following numbers 2 and 1 over 3 5 over 6 23 over 5 and 4.35 got it no you're going too fast could you repeat that please 2 and 1 over 3 5 over 6 23 over 5 and 4.35 can you tell me what type of fractions they are let's start with 2 and 1 over 3 Susie 2 and 1 over 3 is a mixed number it has a whole number and a fraction that's right and 5 over 6 Annie 5 over 6 is a proper fraction the numerator is smaller than the denominator yes and do you know where you find proper fractions on the number line I never thought about that well as they are less than 1 they must lie between 0 and 1 yes that's absolutely right Susie what type of fraction is 23 over 5 improper fraction the numerator is bigger than the denominator and where do they lie on the number line Susie well because they can be changed into a mixed number I guess they must be from 1 onwards yes that's it and the last one Annie 4.35 is a 4.35 is a decimal fraction good these numbers are examples of different types of fraction but they are all rational numbers now I'm going to give you a little test on everything you've learned so far are you ready yes can't wait I'm also ready Aunt Mary okay have your pen and your paper ready write down the following numbers 0 0.4 2 over 3 the square root of 2 the symbol pi 5 9 17 40 and 121 let me repeat the numbers 0 0.4 2 over 3 the square root of 2 the symbol of pi 5 9 17 40 and 121 done yes I'm done me too what's the first question write down two prime numbers the two prime numbers would be 5 and 17 that's right the next question write down two square numbers 9 and 121 good next write down all the irrational numbers the irrational numbers are the square root of 2 and the symbol pi that's correct well done girls that's numbers sorted Aunt Mary we bought you a little something to say thank you for your help we really appreciate it we won't make any more mistakes when it comes to classifications of numbers oh my favorite chocolate thank you so much it was a pleasure tutoring you two girls and I really enjoyed it We'll definitely have another tutoring session when I visit again. Yes, Aunt Mary, that's for sure. Bye, Auntie. Have a safe trip back home. Bye, Annie. We'll see you next time. I hope you've learned a lot from Aunt Mary and the girls. Let's summarize today's lesson. There are two types of rational numbers, namely integers and fractions. Integers are the negative and positive whole numbers and also zero. Fractions can be written as decimal fractions or common fractions, which are also called vulgar fractions. They are made up of proper and improper fractions. Proper fractions have the numerator smaller than the denominator. Their value is less than one. Improper fractions have the numerator bigger than the denominator they can be changed into mixed numbers don't get confused between decimal fractions and irrational numbers remember that irrational numbers can't be written as a common fraction a over b irrational numbers are infinite non-decurring decimal fractions 
Decimal fractions that are rational numbers have a specific number of decimal places, for example 3.142. But infinite decimal fractions continue forever. A mixed number is made up of a whole number with a proper fraction, for example 2 and 1 over 3. Proper fractions are fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator, for example 5 over 6. 5 is the top number, the numerator, and 6 is the bottom number, the denominator. With improper fractions, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, for example 22 over 7. 22 is the numerator and 7 is the denominator. Decimal fractions are numbers with a decimal point and a specific number of decimal places, for example 0 0.4, 2.5, 5.36, 5.367 and so on. Let's go through the test and Mary gave the girls. If you haven't written down the numbers, I'll give you some time to do that. Here they are. 0 0.4, 2 over 3, the square root of 2, the symbol pi, 5, 9, 17, 40 and 121. I'll repeat these numbers. 0 0.4, 2 over 3, the square root of 2, the symbol pi, 5, 9, 17, 40 and 121. The first question was to write down two prime numbers. Remember prime numbers have only two factors. So the prime numbers from the list will be 5 and 17 because they only have two factors. The next question was to write down two square numbers. Again, a square number is the result of multiplying a number by itself. To test whether the number is a square number, you find the square root of the number. And if the answer is a whole number, that number is a square number. The two square numbers are 9 and 121. 9 is the product of 3 times 3. And 121 is the product of 11 times 11. The last question was to write down all the irrational numbers. Remember, irrational numbers are those numbers that are not predictable. So the answer to that question is the square root of 2 and pi. Listeners, that concludes our program for today and the series on numbers. I hope you have enjoyed them and have learned about numbers. From me, Audrey Poulton, Goodbye. This program was brought to you by Namcol with funding from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture and the Commonwealth of Learning.